So to cover runtime's offline capabilities, I'd like to revisit that high accuracy data collection application we saw earlier. We'll take a look at it and see what it can do offline for us and how to make it do that. So we'll fire it up and initially, of course, it still connects to the web map. It's interrogating the layer data in the web map and populating that tabular interface to the site. If we zoom out, we can see this is hitting our global base map service. So the base map is coming from a web service right now. Now we can download this map along with all the data contained within it, the base map, the work orders, and the data collection that we're making as well. We'll do that right now. Actually, what we're doing as well here is we're taking advantage of an optimization that the runtime can provide for us. We know that we have a vector tile package on the device of Virginia's base map. So the web map was configured to take advantage of that if it exists. The runtime, when I asked it to download the web map, as part of packaging everything up and downloading it, recognized that it had that package as configured in the web map and just took advantage of it. So now we just switched offline. We went to airplane mode and we can see we can still do all the things that we did before online. We reverse geocoded the work order to give an address. We calculated turn by turn directions to it to get an ETA and to figure out when we're going to be complete with the work order. Exactly the same as we were able to do online as offline. And of course, we can navigate. But rather than looking at the navigation, let's look at what it takes to take this offline. Here we see a locator task, one pointing at the service online, and one that we're going to set up for offline use. And depending on whether we're online or offline, we'll make use of the appropriate one. Same for the route task below. This is how we load the locator task and the route task from a local package. The package contains location data and a network data set, and we can create a route task and a locator task directly from that package. And that's the only change we have to make to our application to tell it not to hit the service, which of course is unavailable in airplane mode, but rather to hit the local data sources for locating and routing. Lastly, let's take a look at data collection. We can actually see the record we created earlier. It's been downloaded as part of the web map. And now we can add a new record exactly as before, exactly as online. And we're still hitting that high accuracy GNSS device for the Blue Dot experience and for the data collection. We now have these two records here. And when we synchronize the map next time we have a network connection, that record will be uploaded to the online data. So we saw a few things there as well. We saw being able to take a web map offline, including an optimization if you happen to have base map data available to you. Not downloading base map data and packaging it up can save you a lot of time. We also saw being able to locate, geocode, calculate routes and directions all while offline. And lastly, we saw that you can edit offline and that when you bring a map offline, it includes the data within it that you might have created earlier. So that's a summary of some of the offline capabilities of the runtime.